Saturday night before the Daytona 500. Let's find out. This crowd here at the stadium is on their feet. Green flag is in the air. Austin Hill on the outside. One car out of fuel drops to the apron. Allgaier giving a run down on the inside on race leader Austin Hill. Justin Allgaier is about a half a car length up. May not come into play, but Josh Berry comes off pit road about 300 yards ahead of the leaders. They are side by side now. Allgaier in the inside. Hill on the outside off turn two. Side by side for the lead. Everybody stacked up. Drafting help now in position behind the front two. Hill on the outside of the racetrack is going to lose some ground. Allgaier out in front. Mayer is going to give Allgaier a pop right in three. And that'll move Allgaier to the front of the field. Sam Mayer side by side for second with Austin Hill as they come off of turn number four. Three wide further back. Do they have enough fuel in the tank? The car of Josh Berry is in front of his teammate Justin Allgaier. Nearly a lap down. They race their way back to turn number one on the final lap. Justin Allgaier has got three car lengths of empty real estate between himself and the pursuers. Sam Mayer is the second driver. He comes to the outside. Allgaier throws the block. He can't get him stuck. Mayer around the outside. They nearly crash and they're in the wall on the back straightaway. Mayer is upside down. The car flips over. He is spinning pirouettes on the roof of the race car. He'll take five, six other cars as Sam Mayer when a shower of sparks goes over on his roof and now the car tumbles back onto all four wheels halfway down the back straightaway. And the caution flag is out at the start finish line. The white flag has been given. This race will be complete. All we need to do now is determine who was out front. The checkered flag is flying. At the start finish line, this race is over. But we're not sure who's going to be declared the winner. They were three wide as they worked down the back straightaway. By rule, when the caution comes out, the field is frozen. They have cameras everywhere around this racetrack. Next to us, past a pane of glass to our left, is race control. They are huddled around the video screens. Again, it's when the caution is called which car was out front when the caution was called. And Jeff, I can tell you, they were three wide, but there are cars below the double yellow line. John Hunter Nemechek was on the inside. Austin Hill shot the gap and went up the center. When the cars got together, Justin Allgaier was right there as well. We'll check on Sam Mayer with Mike Bagley. We'll do that right now quickly with you, Mike, and we'll determine who's going to win here tonight at Daytona. Well, the safety team here at Daytona International Speedway just descended upon Sam Mayer's car. No short of a dozen vehicles with lights ablaze as Sam is attempting to climb out of that race car. They are tending to him as the field greatly reduced now on the cooldown lap will make their way to his outside. Wow, high dramatics on the last lap here in Daytona. Still question marks, race control, and it's not just one person. There is a group of NASCAR senior high-ranking officials, including race directors, huddled around the video screen. Again, by rule, when the caution is called after the white flag is given and taken by the leader, when the caution is called, the field is frozen. So whoever's in front when the caution is called will be the race winner. We're waiting on NASCAR to tell us exactly who that might be. Well, Allgaier took his teammate Sam Mayer all the way to the fence, and that left an opening for Austin Hill to come through. Sam Mayer came back down across him, just trying to regain the momentum that he lost when his teammate took him up the racetrack. Problem was, Austin Hill was there, got into the back of Sam Mayer, turned him around. Mike Bagley had the call. That opened things up on the inside, and John Hunter Nemechek immediately took advantage. That stacked them three wide, and we have three cars now waiting at the trioval entrance to find out if they've won at Daytona. John Hunter Nemechek, Justin Allgaier, and Austin Hill. They're waiting to find out who's gonna get to celebrate. They're all sitting there basically three wide, just shy of the tri-oval still on the racetrack. The rest of the field has made their way to pit lane, but those three drivers are going to sit there until they are forced to go back behind the wall. One of those three is gonna be the winner. And you know what they're waiting for? They're waiting to hear it right now from us over the PA 
and we'll give it to you as soon as we know. Off turn number two. Man, what a night. What a finish. It's been everything as advertised. It just depends on where the yellow light came on because John Henry Nemechek may have led for a foot, maybe two feet. Austin Hill led for a point. Justin Allgaier led for a point. Alex, it will come down to determine what time or when the yellow light came on and who was out front, and they're looking at it right now. They absolutely are, and we're telling you, it's that close between those three drivers who were in a jet fighter formation three wide when Sam Mayer's car went up and got into the outside wall, subsequently went upside down and skidded three quarters of the length of the Daytona Super Stretch upside down. Mike Bagley, what's the latest out there with Sam Mayer? Well, good news is Sam Mayer is out of the race car and he is in the ambulance. He is headed to the care center. The car has been hooked up to the wrecker and as it passed by me, Holy cow, there is damage on every corner of that race car. He got turned, he got up in the air, and that car came down on the roof, and it began to spin wildly on its roof in a shower of sparks, and at the very end, as it was coasting to a halt, the car abruptly flipped back over, back on all four wheels, and what seemed like almost immediately the safety crews were on the scene. They encased that car, got Sam out of it, and is taking him now for the mandatory check at the care center. It started off too when Mayer started to run to the outside and Dave described it perfectly. Allgaier went to throw the block. Contact was made and it was on from there. It started off a two and it ended halfway down the back straightaway. And thank you for the coverage, Mike. We appreciate it out there at the end of the super stretch here at Daytona. No fewer than 10 very high ranking NASCAR officials are looking at this and, and we can see it. Uh, you know, Alex, it, it, you just can't make the call, no. at least not yet. What's interesting and, and kind of fun to take a peek at, those three drivers, Allgaier, Hill, and Nemechek, where they're parked, they have the advantage of looking to their left. They've dropped their window nets, and they themselves are looking at replays on NASCAR TV on the giant board. So no doubt each one of those three has an opinion on who was out front when the caution was called. And, and all three of them were out front whether it be for a foot or, a, you know, a little bit further than a foot. All right, it's official. He's going to go back to back as a winner at Daytona. Austin Hill is the winner tonight in the beef. It's what's for dinner. 300 back to back wins at Daytona for Austin Hill. Stay with us. We'll be back in a moment. <laughs> 